Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunshine Corridor Transit Concept and Alternatives Review Study Public Meeting. My name is David Cook, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will present information on the proposed options for expanding multimodal transportation in the Orlando area. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about the project. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Welcome to the meeting. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 451404-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. Special accommodations for all print materials, such as Spanish or large size font, are available upon request. Tonight we are discussing the Sunshine Corridor Transit Concept and Alternatives Review Study. Financial Project Identification Number 451404-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the study process for the Sunshine Corridor. The presentation will review the purpose, need, and goals for the Sunshine Corridor project. The presentation will review the transportation options under consideration to help achieve those goals and hear from the community about the proposed project. This graphic presents the typical project development process. The Transit Concept and Alternatives Review, also referred to as TCAR, is a Florida Department of Transportation transit office process for early planning and early evaluation of transit projects in Florida. The TCAR study is a uniform approach to evaluating transit projects. The study and its results are necessary to advance the project into the Federal Transit Administration Project Development Process or the State Project Development Process. The TCAR process is a streamlined planning and environmental screening process that compares transit project alternatives. The Sunshine Corridor project purpose and need demonstrate specific transportation issues the proposed project will address. The Sunshine Corridor provides a premium transportation option to improve mobility, connectivity, and accessibility to major employment centers while stimulating economic development opportunities to support adjacent communities and the rapidly growing Central Florida region. The Sunshine Corridor project is a proposed comprehensive, multi-phase, multimodal passenger rail program. The Sunshine Corridor is envisioned as a publicly owned joint use passenger rail corridor with proposed stops at the Orlando International Airport, also referred to as MCO, the Orange County Convention Center, South International Drive, and Disney Springs areas. The Sunshine Corridor connects the existing SunRail Central Florida Commuter Rail Corridor and the Brightline Intercity Passenger Rail Corridor. 
This image illustrates the Sunshine Corridor project area. Generally, the proposed Sunshine Corridor extends from Disney Springs, east to the South International Drive area, then northeast to the Orange County Convention Center area, and finally to the Orlando International Airport. On this map, the green line running north and south represents the location of the existing SunRail commuter rail. The yellow lines show connectivity to the existing and proposed Brightline intercity passenger rail service. The orange line depicts an approximate location of the Sunshine Corridor commuter rail service. The project area is shown as a wide corridor since an actual alignment is still under evaluation as part of this study. There are multiple goals for the Sunshine Corridor as part of a multimodal transportation solution for Central Florida. The goals include the following. Connect residents to employment, leisure opportunities, and essential services. Promote economic development and increase local commerce. Produce environmental benefits associated with air quality and energy through the reduction of single occupant vehicle travel. Provide a cost-effective regional transportation solution that reduces the need for roadway capacity or expansion projects. Provide a safe travel option for regional travel. And enhance transportation equity by making regional transit options more viable. The expansion of SunRail has been a subject of interest throughout multiple transportation-related projects and initiatives over the past several years. SunRail Commuter Rail started operations in 2014 with Phase 1, a 32-mile rail line from DeBerry to Sand Lake Road. Then Phase 2, the southern extension, is from Sand Lake Road to Poinciana Boulevard in Osceola County. In 2015, the Florida Department of Transportation initiated a study of a SunRail extension to the Orlando International Airport. As part of that study, the department proposed a 5.5-mile east-west commuter rail extension to the Orlando International Airport. The project was admitted into Federal Transit Administration project development as a small starts project. Subsequently, the Florida Department of Transportation launched a project development and environment study. In 2017, the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority completed the construction of an intermodal transfer facility at the Orlando International Airport, with the capacity for intercity rail, commuter rail, light rail, people mover, and other service transportation connectivity. In 2018, Brightline, a private rail operator, began intercity passenger rail service between Miami and West Palm Beach. In 2022, the Florida Department of Transportation and local agency partners launched a study to examine the opportunity for the Sunshine Corridor SunRail expansion and Brightline Intercity Passenger Rail Plan from Orlando International Airport to Tampa to coordinate on project planning and rail development activities. In 2023, Brightline expanded service from West Palm Beach to the Orlando International Airport. Additionally, earlier this year, the Florida Department of Transportation initiated this Transit Concept and Alternatives Review Study for the Sunshine Corridor. The Transit Concept and Alternatives Review Study will examine several key areas. This study examines previous and related transportation, land use, and infrastructure-related plans and studies. The study process defines the overall purpose and need for the project and develops a project description. Existing and future conditions regarding land use, Demographics of the region, travel behaviors, and economic development are also documented. This study includes an environmental scan of sensitive land uses and habitats. An alternatives evaluation is performed to compare various transportation options based on the data assembled and feedback received. Public and stakeholder engagement through public outreach activities, such as this meeting today, are an important part of the study process. The preliminary evaluation considers different methods of transportation to achieve the project goals with the Sunshine Corridor. Enhanced local bus, bus rapid transit or BRT, commuter rail such as SunRail, and trackless tram. For the commuter rail alternative, there are several options for the expansion of the SunRail service that will be analyzed. First is the expansion of SunRail commuter rail service from the existing SunRail alignment to the Orlando International Airport. Next, a segment from the Orlando International Airport to the Orange County Convention Center. Then, a segment from the Orange County Convention Center to South International Drive. 
And finally, a segment from South International Drive connecting to the Disney Springs area. The alternatives evaluation will assess multiple factors related to transportation and infrastructure projects. The evaluation of the various options will consider the complexity and requirements for the existing and new infrastructure. The evaluation will also assess passenger, vehicle, and rail operations and safety. Area travel markets will be assessed and future ridership projections will be developed. Each viable option will be evaluated to determine the ability to enhance overall mobility, connectivity, and equity in the region. The evaluation will review the potential impacts to land use and economic development opportunities, specifically for transit-oriented development, or TOD. Potential impacts to communities and the environment, both positive and negative, will be determined. And preliminary cost estimates will also be developed. This schematic provides a general illustration of the proposed operational concept for the rail service. The green line represents the existing SunRail commuter rail service from DeLand to Poinciana. The blue line represents a proposed commuter rail service from Lynx Central Station to the Orlando International Airport, and then from the Orlando International Airport to Kissimmee. The orange line illustrates the proposed Sunshine Corridor from the Orlando International Airport to the Orange County Convention Center, then southeast to South International Drive and the Disney Springs area. Public involvement is an essential component of transportation project development. The public involvement plan for this project seeks to engage as many stakeholders as possible. Over the past year, local partners have been coordinating as the Sunshine Corridor Working Group. Additionally, the Florida Department of Transportation and Project Team have conducted several presentations for area groups and organizations. This public meeting is provided as an opportunity to learn about the project and provide your feedback. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by December 22, 2023 will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. All meeting attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 451-404-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager David Cook directly by email at david.cook at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 530, DeLand, Florida 32720. You may also call Mr. Cook at 386-943-5107 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification and displays. Our survey is another way you can share your views on the proposed project. Please scan the QR code to link to the survey or visit the project website to link to the survey. To learn more about the project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 451404-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by December 22, 2023. Have a good evening.